The largest river in the world, inside the biggest jungle in the world, is spread across three countries where you will find exotic animals, isolated villages, cities with wild parties, and much, much more. Yo, gringo, acá por el gringo. This is life on the Amazon River. This is the dock here on the banks of the Amazon River. I'm about to get on that boat to travel two hours upstream to Puerto Nerino and from there to catch another boat to the little village of Mocagua where I will be staying for three days and also doing some exertions into the jungle. I hope it goes well. Just went into a little tributary here. We got the Capitan. Mokagua is a small village with a population of less than a thousand people of indigenous tribes. Aquí es una comunidad multietnica. Tenemos cinco grupos étnicos. Tenemos el Kikuna. El Cocama, el Huitoto, el Ocaina y el Huitoto. Mi esposa también es Cocama, pero Cocama de lado brasilero. Ah, ella es brasilera. Sí, uh -huh. <risa> sí ella, ella habla la lengua, sí, Cocama, y habla el portugués y el español. Ok, es hora de ir a la jungle. Uh -huh. With me here, señor. Casemiro. Sí. You spent decades exploring the jungle and that's what you need because it's very large, you can get lost, you need to know exactly where you're going and what you're doing. Último cultivo de la comunidad mm -hmm. de aquí para allá es selva virgen. Sí. Para pedir permiso a la madre selva ¿sí? para que no pase nada con nosotros y ella nos va a mostrar lo que ella tiene adentro de ella ¿sí? so we observed our minute of silence to mother nature to permit us to enter the jungle here yeah. Feels like the scene from King Kong. Just felled this tree right here and put it here. So that we have a way of crossing this water how you build a bridge in five minutes. Now we can pass. All right, finally made it. After about 10 kilometers in the jungle, home for the night at least. Quite basic. But it will do the trick. It's actually possible to enter the water here. Um, yeah, the anacondas and caimans are not swimming here, so that's okay. <laughs> Very basic meal with candlelight here in this modest lodge in the middle of the jungle. just really exhausting because you're not walking on level ground there's no air the air is so heavy because of all the trees it just doesn't penetrate and the humidity like a gazillion percent humidity 
all of this makes it a really, really difficult physical exercise. Diarrhea medicine apparently, or for bad stomach, and you yeah, take it on the See, there's one guy right up over there. He's gonna show me how to fish in the traditional way. This is an improvised fishing rod. Wow. Wow. Incredible. He just caught that with an improvised stick and with a bait he just just took a an insect and stuck it there and look he got a fish yeah see i caught the fish now how do i get it out this thing that's our catch of the day three fish that we got here in this river with very basic equipment all thanks to this guy, I didn't do anything. Don't see them this low, usually. They go really high up, they like to go really high. Um, so I guess I got lucky. <laughs> see this little guy here. I don't wanna mess with him though, you know monkeys, they have, they have a temper. So you gotta be careful. Don't mess with the monkeys. Whoa. After an exhausting three days, I was quite happy to go back to Mokagua. Here, they have these solar plants and that's how they produce the electricity, think. It's pretty isolated over here, so yes, you have these electrical wires that go to the houses, but they go from here, not from any central power plant. And that's clean energy because it's solar energy. When it's raining, like now, then you don't have as much electricity. That's the downside. Hey, shampoo, por favor. <laughs> ah. Quita el shampoo. Si, shampoo. All right, guys. This is a... Mokogua shower, okay? No, piranha? No, piranha, tranquila. No? Okay. Bueno, las pirañas, las pirañas nunca van a atacarte si no hay una herida abierta o un flujo de sangre. No atacan. Ah. Es técnica para el baño en eh, shampoo aquí de <laughs> Ah, no, de todo el agua? Sh shampoo? Sí, es una técnica. <laughs> es la técnica? Es la técnica de No, técnica. Nah, de disfrutar el Amazonas, Alex. Tú sabes okay. que acá, hermano, no. Vamos a echar un poco de de shampoo. Sí. Ajá. Uh -huh. right. All right. I feel a little bit cleaner. Yeah. See? Si, si, si sientes que te muerden por ahí son peces. Está. Yeah. Esos son peces pequeños, mire. Si, si. Esos son los que te están mordiendo. Yeah, this little yeah. fish over here. Yeah. And you get to, you get to shower with them. Mm -hmm. Si. Pero este tabaco lo procesan en, en Brasil. Si. Este es el tabaco más natural. Esta es la cigarreta de Amazonas. Amazon. Guys, Amazonian cigarette. And I don't smoke usually. No tiene papel, papel. Es un papel natural, es una hoja. Papel natural. Es una hoja. Right. So people were addicted to cigarettes before they had cigarettes. No tienes escuela? Sí, en Leticia. En Leticia? Sí? Sí. ¿Tú vas a Leticia? Todo día? A Leticia y. Ahí está. Vuelve. Sí. 
sí, wow. Ahí hago matemáticas y pinto y hago... Tú estudias mucho, ¿eh? Tú aprendes mucho. Ah, adiós. Time to say goodbye to Mocagua and Colombia and head to the Peruvian Amazon. To stay in my passport, I have to go through this grass field. One of the more interesting passport stamps I've gone through in my life. So this is the cargo ship on the way from Leticia to Iquitos. Sitting there in our hammocks. And right now we're offloading, unloading some cargo. That's the problem with these ships and why they're slow. There's a smaller one, a smaller vessel here that's loading stuff here onto the bigger ship. That's going to take it to other locations here on the Amazon River. You can also go below deck here, there's another level. There's a kitchen there. Well, that's the first time I saw her clean the toilets because they're usually pretty disgusting. Lucky this lady is here. We have all kinds of smaller ships here on the Amazon. Like this one, because there are no roads. And that's how the people get around. So the boat has stopped here in one of these villages on the Amazon River and there's a desperate scramble to try to moor the boat here on the bank. It's not looking very good right now. <laughs> I mean, look, the whole village is taking part in the effort. The problem with these stops is they can take a really long time. They can be as long as three hours sometimes. I'll float all this stuff. This time it's a ton of fish. It's the boat. That I've been riding for the past two days. A little village on the Amazon River and they have contact with the outside world once a day through this cargo boat that I'm on that brings all the stuff that they can't produce here. Donde es eh, el agua? Agua. Agua en la casa. Para... No, del río no más. Uh -huh. El río. El río del agua. ¿Cómo estás? Buenas tardes. <risa> Buenas tardes. ¿Esta es tu casa? Sí. Sí, sí, ¿ah? ¿eh? Buenas tardes. Mucho gusto. Estoy Alec. Sí. O soy Alec. Alec. ¿Y tú? Armas. Armas. Eso. <risa> <risa> ¿Cuántos años tú vives? Yo estoy viviendo 67 años. Todo tu vida, todo Acá tu vida. En este pueblo. Ok, ¿cómo sí. es? Tranquilo. Tranquilo. Clima bueno. Clima bueno. Y no pasa nada. La persona que. ¿Y este es tu casa? Este. ¿Posible mirar la casa? Sí. Hey, this guy's gonna show me uh, Amazonian house. Hola. Hola. ¿Cómo estás? Para que llegues a tu tierra. Sí. Así vivo yo acá. Ok. ¿Habitación? Sí. Esta habitación. Sí. Ok. Está ah, bien. No es eh, caliente. No. 
Ok. Contra la, las mosquitas. Ah, ¿Sí? no. No mosquitas. No hay. No. ¿La cocina? Nosotros comemos eso, ¿no? ¿eh? Esta es la cocina. Ah, plantanos. Plantanos. Muchos plantanos. Sí. ¿Y agua? ¿Tienes aquí agua o no? No. Amazonas. ¿Amazonas? ¿Tienes filte filteras para no. el agua? No. ¿No? no. ¿Y es bien? Bien, bien es todo. ¿Directo de, no de Amazonas? Nada, no pasa nada. Hola. <laughs> <laughs> eh, eh. Opa. So, yeah, it was cool. We got to see a, a house on the Amazon. They take the water directly from the Amazon. No filters or anything, which I was surprised. Apparently, it's good enough and they can cook with it and wash in there. And it's the life here. Look. Well, it is day three of this cruise along the Amazon and when I woke up in the morning, we had two boats instead of one. This boat has been attached to us throughout the entire day because our motor broke down and the two boats were tied together and that way we're able to cruise along with this other boat to our destination, which is Iquitos. And finally, you can see Iquitos over there. decided to climb here into the other boat. Hola. ¿Cómo estás? Guys, say thank you to the captain, otherwise our boat, el bote no arrive a Iquitos sin el capitán. Gracias. All right, capitán, thank you very much. El motor. Muerte. Muerte. Okay. Muerte. All right, guys. They're gonna drive the boat here. No. Nada. With the bridges, that's the Okay. So finally, we can see it after three days. This is a beer from Peru. Really? Beer from Peru. Si. Cristal. Okay, Cristal. Cristal. Nice. The Peruvian beer. Peruvian beer. Yes. Very nice. When you are up, it's a very big part. Ah, okay. Very nice place to go. <laughs> to give to you. Oh. Oh. Quitos. Hola, Iquitos. Después, tres sí, días. Después de tres Quitos. días. Tres, cuatro días. Tres, cuatro días. Qué cuatro bien. Días. Qué bien. With a population of over 400,000, Iquitos is the largest city in the world, excluding islands, not connected to anywhere by road, which means everything you see here arrived by boat or plane. This is the famous Mercado de Belén in Iquitos. The largest open market in the city where they sell anything and everything. And part of the market actually extends on stilts into the river, which we're going to see in a moment. As you can expect, this market is dominated by things that grow in the Amazon, like, for example, plantains, fish that they catch in the river, chickens that they grow in all the villages over here, little eggs. ¿Qué es este huevos? Baricaya. ¿Qué es baricaya? Es muy, muy rico. Uh -huh. yeah. so you eat it just like this, with nothing. You put on a bit of sauce. Oh, 
Con cámara. No. <risa> ¿Por qué? ¿Malandros? Sí. ¿Sí? Ah, ese es normal, ¿no? Sí, ¿qué yo? ¿Quién es ahí? Ah, sí. Aquí. Mejor, aquí. ¿Qué es allá? No. No. Ok. Allá, ropa gringo. Ropa gringo. Allá no gringo. Gringo, ropa allá. Sí, ok. Ahora bien. Ay, ¿tú vives aquí? ¿Qué tú haces en la vida? Trabajo. ¿Trabajo qué? Okay. En la una. ¿Una? Ah, okay. vendo, vendo productos. ¿Productos? Ah, ah ok. Cocina. ¿Qué es? Yo gringo acá con el gringo, fumando la marihuana, cannabis. Fumando marihuana gringo tú. No fumas eh, yo, no, no, no gusto marihuana. No, no gusto marihuana. ¿Qué eso no. fumas tú entonces? <risa> no, no drogas, no, no. <risa> Sí, ok, dale amigo. Allá bien. Allá bien. Allá bien, ok. Ok. La frutería de Sí, sí. Ah, gracias. Jeez, everyone is saying don't go down there. I don't know what's going on down there. Dale amigo. Hola. Es eh, el lugar en el mercado, es cerca del río. Es, eh... Eh, o sea, si el mercado está cerca del río. Sí, sí. Sí, sí, casi, casi. Sí, sí. Casi, casi. Ah, aquí, izquierda. De frente, te va. Ah, ok. ¿Dónde está la casita? Sí. Esto es así, de frente. Pero no peligroso allá. No, no es peligroso. Para gringo, con cámara, ¿no? Paga, paga. Paga, tú te expropiaron, muchachos. <risa> a ver, a ver. Gracias, amigo. Gracias, amigo. No, no, yo vuelvo al mercado centro, central. ¿Sí? ¿Qué venir a hacer por el perro? Sí, ahora. Está grabando, ¿eh? Y realista. Pasado, pues. Vas a irte. Tienes que conocer todo el lugar, tienes que pagar, ¿eh? Ay, te va a robar todo. Sí. Que no te robe. Esa cámara, ese GoPro, si o no. Sí. This is the party, Nikitos. With the motor car, I don't know where we're going, but where are we going? we're going somewhere good. We'll, we'll end up somewhere good, I'm sure. The next day I took the very bumpy ride to the Iquitos beach on the river. You need to take a boat to get to that beach. The other side. So this is the beach in Iquitos. Ah, oh, what can I say? <laughs> it's not the most beautiful beach, but oh, it's a beach. Wow, that was one of the most crowded, hottest beaches I've ever seen in my life. But over there is an empty beach. How'd you get over there? See, <laughs> possible? Sí. Aha. Now this is the type of beach that I like.
So that was life here on the Amazon River and in the Amazon jungle. From tiny isolated villages to large cities like Iquitos where they have parties and everything else. It really was fascinating to see how people here live and just really, really happy I had the opportunity to come visit here. So that's all for this video and see you next time.